Well, here's where we're at. Now, you've already had a chance to watch a couple of videos. So this one here is probably the most, I don't know, the hardest for me to watch. Uh, the year 2000 by far was a turning point in the D-Day history. Uh, we was to the point of not never doing the event again. We had nine and a half inches of rain. It was absolutely awful. We had every bit of 500 people left on Friday night. So Saturday morning, we, we, we didn't have as many as we should. I think we still had five or 600, but we, but we lost 500. Back then, we had to, uh, whatever paint we ordered, we had to keep it. Uh, we had uh, Diablo had come in, which is now Draxus. They had come in, and it was our paint supplier. And it was a, it was a situation where, when it was all over with, we lost over $13,000. And in those days, that was enough. I had to get another job and work two jobs and, and uh, survived it. it. It's too bad I didn't write down this little girl that called or emailed me, I'm sorry, emailed me at four o'clock in the morning. And uh, I read that and big old tears run down my face. I remember it like it was yesterday. I woke my wife up. I said, Courtney, I said, you got to come and read this. And um, basically what it was, the little girl said she, she had come to the event and her and her dad had never really got along very well, but they played paintball together and wanted to thank me because it made both of them come together. So when I say that, that's what this event's about. It's a family event, and uh, everybody can be a part of our family. You just got to choose if you want to, you know, be a part of us or not. That's up to you. That little girl did, and uh, I wish I'd kept her name, but she is the single-handedly Save D-Day for all of you. Well, enjoy the film. It's uh, a lot of playing, not much talking on it. So if you enjoy just a lot of people running around shooting, it's a good one. So enjoy. And uh, stay tuned. Wait, God! 